Our planet, Earth, is threatened with an ever-expanding population and only finite resources. We need a plan B. Kepler-186f is the first validated Earth-sized planet in the habitable zone of its star. This planet orbits its star every 130 days, and so this places it in the habitable zone. It's in a region where it could have liquid water on its surface. Kepler telescope found planets better than Earth. Born in southwest Germany in 1571, astronomer Johannes Kepler's contributions to science have earned him icon status. He's been referred to as the first astrophysicist and the last scientific astrologer coined the term satellite and provided accurate knowledge of the motion of the planets. For his efforts, NASA named a planet-finding telescope after him. The Kepler telescope was launched on March 7, 2009, with the goal of discovering Earth-sized planets orbiting other stars. Engine chamber pressures are building. Groundlet solid motors are building. Until it was decommissioned on November 18, 2018, it observed 530,506 stars, confirmed 2,800 exoplanets, and introduced several thousand more potential exoplanets that have yet to be confirmed. To date, researchers have identified several hundred planets in the habitable zone of this star based on the Kepler data. It's provided the most eye-opening experiences we've ever seen. What if there are planets better suited for life than Earth? The habitable zone. What is a habitable zone? NASA defines a habitable zone as the distance from a star in which liquid water could exist on orbiting planet surfaces. Habitable zones are also known as Goldilocks zones, where conditions might be just right, neither too hot nor too cold for life. Life on other planets may not be lifelike on Earth at all, but if we search for something familiar to us, it should be easier to find. Searching for habitable zones where planetary surface temperatures could allow the pooling of water makes sense. Some planets have piqued the interest of scientists more than others. Let's discuss some of those planets and why they're of particular interest to scientists. K218b Eight times the mass of Earth, K218b or EPIC 20191252b is an exoplanet orbiting the red dwarf star K218. A red dwarf star is the most common star in the Milky Way galaxy, though they're hard to observe because of their low luminosity. Discovered in 2015, K218b is in the Leo constellation and is classified as a super-Earth or mini-Neptune. It has a 33-day habitable orbit within its star's habitable zone. It was the 18th planet discovered during the K2 mission and is 124 light years from Earth. That means it would take 2 million years to reach it. Because it's the first discovered exoplanet with a significant amount of water vapor in its atmosphere, scientists are fascinated by it. The discovery of water in the atmosphere of K218b doesn't mean the planet can support life or is even habitable. But finding water in a habitable zone exoplanet helps understand how planets are formed. Because its star is so active, K218b may be exposed to much more radiation than Earth. However, computer models show that a range of conditions are possible in the planet's interior. According to the models, the maximum amount of hydrogen in the atmosphere is only 6% of its mass. Other models showed it to be even less. The minimum amount of hydrogen is about one millionth by mass, similar to that of Earth. Under those conditions, the atmosphere would be more like that of a super-Earth rather than a mini-Neptune. Many of the models allow for a world with a true ocean, not just a layer of water under extreme pressure and temperature. That suggests the temperature and pressure would actually be similar to those in Earth's oceans. The levels of methane and ammonia in the atmosphere were less than expected. A possible cause of this could be related to biological activity. If these models are proven to be accurate, it would greatly increase the number of potentially habitable planets since wells of its size are rather common. Kepler-186f The discovery of Kepler-186f was a huge step in finding other planets like Earth. The first Earth-sized planet discovered by the Kepler telescope, it orbits its star once every 130 days and receives one-third the energy from its sun as the Earth does, as it's located near the outer edge of the habitable zone. This means the brightness of its sun at high noon is only as bright as our sun appears to us about an hour before sunset. 
Located 500 light years from Earth, Kepler 186f could be suitable for life. However, the fact that it is on the outer edge of the habitable zone may mean it's too cold for liquid water to form. It's too far away for us to tell if it has an atmosphere or not, but if it does, and is similar to Earth's, it will trap some heat via the greenhouse effect, potentially making the planet warm enough. Because it needs to be close to its red dwarf star to fall within the habitable zone, life on the surface could be extremely vulnerable to harmful radiation from solar flares. If it's tidally locked, meaning the same side of it always faces its sun, one side of the planet would always be frozen and the other side would be too hot for life as there will be no day-night cycle. If all conditions on Kepler 186F were right for life, that doesn't mean life would evolve as it took billions of years for life to evolve on Earth. However, red dwarf stars age more slowly than stars like our Sun, so the star's extended lifespan could provide billions of extra years for life to potentially evolve. Kepler 1649c by Kepler-186f, Kepler-1649c is an Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting within its star's habitable zone. It's been described as the most similar planet to Earth by the SETI Institute. It's the outermost discovered planet by the Kepler telescope and is located in the Cygnus constellation 300 light years from Earth and orbits its star every 19 and a half days. NASA has identified it as a rocky planet, and based on the proximity to its star, it may be tidally logged, as is thought Kepler 186f may be. It receives 75% of the radiation from its star as Earth does from its Sun, but little is known about its atmosphere, raising the question of whether it can sustain liquid water on its surface. As of now, scientists are unclear as the composition of its atmosphere. However, if information about the atmosphere can be gathered, it's possible that its surface temperature may be similar enough to the temperature of Earth that liquid water may be present. KOI 5AB A triple star system is one in which physical stars orbit the center of mass of the system. In 2009, the Kepler telescope provided evidence for the existence of one of these systems in the Cygnus constellation. In 2021, it was confirmed. KOI 5AB was the second new planet candidate to be found by the mission in 2009, but it was soon forgotten as the number of discovered planets grew into the thousands. In 2014, researchers weren't sure if the KOI 5 system actually hosted a planet or if they were seeing an enormous signal from one of the two other stars. In 2018, NASA's TESS, Transisting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, observed a portion of Kepler's view of the KOI 5 system. TESS identified KOI 5AB as a candidate planet and, like Kepler, found that the planet orbited its star about every five days. It was still unconfirmed as a real planet until combined data from space and ground-based telescopes helped confirm that KOI 5AB is indeed a planet. KOI 5AB is approximately one-half the mass of Saturn and orbits star A with a relatively close companion, star B. Stars A and B orbit each other every 30 years. A third gravitational-bound star, star C, orbits stars A and B every 400 years. What researchers find most fascinating about KOI 5AB is that the planet orbiting the primary star is not in the same orbit plane as the two stars. The outer star is too far away to really know what its orbit is doing. The planet is a gas giant in a five-day orbit and couldn't have formed there. According to researchers, it would have had to form further out and then migrate in, and therefore it may provide insight as to how systems may form and evolve. KOI 571501 Discovered KOI 571501 has three of the critical components necessary for sustaining life, making it possibly much more comfortable for life than our home planet. Unfortunately, it's 2,960 light years away. It exists within the Goldilocks zone of its star, suggesting liquid water could exist on its surface. It's about double the Earth's size, that's important in helping the planet retain heat. A 5-degree bump in average temperature could mean an even richer biosphere than that of Earth. Though studies suggest the temperature may be colder than that on Earth, we won't know more about that until more information is collected about the atmosphere. It's believed to be about 5.5 billion years old, 1 billion years older than our solar system, so we can assume more than enough time has elapsed for life to evolve. Kepler 69c 
Discovered by the Kepler telescope on April the 18th, 2013, Kepler 69c, also known as KOI 172.02, is a super Earth extrasolar planet located 2,430 light years from Earth. It orbits its star every 242 days, similar to the orbital period of Venus, and has a mass twice that of Earth. Early data suggested it could be habitable, but further analysts showed that it resides outside of the inner edge of the habitable zone. That means temperatures are likely similar to those of Venus, far too hot to sustain life. There is some pushback to that analyst, and the idea that it's inhabitable is debated by some. Kepler 1126b Kepler 1126b is a super-Earth exoplanet that orbits a G-type star found in the Lyra constellation. A G-type star is a rare class of star in the Milky Way galaxy, accounting for only 7 or 8 percent of all stars. Earth's Sun is an example of a G-type star. Data on this planet was released in 2016, revealing it's almost four times the Earth's size, orbits its Sun every 108 days, and is 2,073 light years away. Earth is two and a half times further from the Sun than Kepler 1126b is from its star. Because its orbit is cooler than ours, the habitable zone would likely exist in a closer range than that of Earth to the Sun. Though that might be a bit close for comfort if you're worried about solar flares. Let us know what you think of the idea of these super planets in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.